Hello and welcome to another episode of The Aftermath. My name is Ian. Yep. Me as well. I just love how I'm accompanied by silence every time I try and let you guys uh, talk about yourself. Because so. you, you, you always introduce us. I don't need to introduce us. Well, you know. It's like, hi, I'm Ian, and I'm accompanied by, and I'm like, oh, I'm here. On today. one side I have Dylan, and on the other side I yeah. have Ethan. You know so. what I'm You're just like, hi, I'm Ian. And, and that's, that's it. it. That's <laughs> it. It's just me People here today. Don't that's who it. I am. They don't deserve to they listen. Don't. I'm here. I'm here as always. Okay. Except for the fact that of all the people on this podcast, I'm the one who's here the least because of my work schedule. Is <laughs> that the point? I'm here as air quotes always. Yeah, you've, you've had a hot streak of being on every episode, almost. Yeah. Except for the fact that recently I wasn't on episode because we lost the footage and then I had work. Yeah, well, we don't Gosh. talk about those two. Yes, because I'm sad about, about those, those still. Two. Those were great episodes. <laughs> my feelings are still hard about those two. God, yeah, we'll, 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 burn, so we'll burn that bridge when we cross it. Yes, That's we'll go back to those eventually at some point. <laughs> when enough time has passed, we will watch this again. Trust me, I feel like they deserve it. I mean, um, they do, because one of them was oh, one of my favorite movies that we still haven't done the episode on. And that was one yeah. that I wanted to, and that was Dead Poets Society. So. That was a good one. Was, yeah. So you anyways, that. tis the season, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh-huh. Christmas is around the corner. Sensible Merry Christmas. Holidays. Sensible chuckle. That was a medical joke. <laughs> Wait, what was it? I said, Merry Christmas. That was a medical joke. <laughs> yeah. Christmas is a clenched jaw. <laughs> I see, I see. Yes. I thought you weren't going to explain it. It's, it's, yeah, but I feel like you guys were going to ask. Even if you didn't, I have I mean, to. I was thinking about it, but... Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Merry I, I Christmas. Was, you no, guys no. can Google that one on your own time. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's about, about what I was going to do. Well, so, I, I kinda, well, no, because then you'd have to spell it. Yeah, exactly. But also, a clenched jaw is a very like rudimentary explaining of what it is. But yeah. it's still, so okay. Mary Jane. Last week we had a really funny moment, and I promised Dylan something, oh, and uh, big funny moment. Big funny moment, and uh, Ethan, if you if you do the honors, would you push that button right there um, for me? I, I'm gonna go ahead and just say, uh, you could not pay me enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and everybody, hold your breath. I'm pushing a button. It's gonna make a lot of noise. Dude, I would vote for Cthulhu with 100% confidence. <laughs> no, no, wait a second. No, no wait. A wait. Second. I mean, I would too. You would never want. Yeah, dude. I would, I, and that is a quote expect, from Dylan. That is a week. quote. I was on that podcast, I'm pretty sure, because yeah, I, I recall saying, especially if I get a neat jacket for voting for You're him. right. Yeah. You're if right. If Cthulhu's got jackets, I'd be like, yeah, Cthulhu. That was also, com- com- comparably, on, you know, I'd vote for Cthulhu. There you go. Elder Gods know where it's up. Know where it's up. Clearly, no one else does. We also have had. Um, I'm, I'm calling for hard reset. That's I, I was about to say, look, listen, it doesn't matter if the people are looking for ups and looking for downs. The thing with the Elder Gods is they're just looking for straight down. They just want to yeah. make the hard reset. And you know what? Honestly, I, I support that. You know, they, board, they, they know what they want and they're going to stick to it, even if we think it's bad. You know, at least they're not lying. Yeah. Yeah. How's that oh, for a campaign? Also, right? uh, we also have this little. Um, my girlfriend uh, has this little, like. Um, blue it's kind of made out of pipe cleaners it's like a blue like worm it's the magic thing. worm thing that it's has the magic the, worm yeah, thing knows like, you can like move around with your fingers like your, it has the know. invisible string attached to it and you make like yes, magic exactly whatever the hell it's Except called the fact that the string is kind of invisible and he's hanging from the mic looks like he's just floating yeah he's just floating in midair just kind of you know kind of vibe oh no he's on the floor you drop anyways it. he's our honorary fourth member of our podcast he's been here for at least next three to episodes. the rock who i forgot what she named the rock but the rock's here too the rock will make an appearance next week i think mm-hmm. yeah. mr so, the rock johnson anyways. yeah i forgot i think we should call the rock Dwayne. i think we tried to convince her that but she already has a name i think it's harold or something like, uh, oh, you know okay. in that case for this episode then i'm gonna have to go on ahead and hit him with the I don't know. Dwayne's good, though. I know you're right, but you know what? anyways, like I said, charge the name for the rock. But I'm gonna call him Anderson until <laughs> <laughs> just a template name, John Smith Rock. <laughs> no, I like Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Like, anyways, uh, just know that um, even though that Stephen hasn't said anything, he's been an honorary fourth member of the podcast yeah. for the past like three episodes. Steve, Stephen yeah. the Magic Worm. He's literally been hanging out. Yeah, yeah. that's about it. <laughs> it he's... was a really animal of the podcast. He's made a dad joke. Everybody, yeah. All right, later, guys. He just made it. I'm out. I, I can't even. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I've since relieved him from this. Yes, his <laughs> hanging, his <laughs> hanging torture. Yeah. Oh, uh, what? He's not floating anymore. Yeah, exactly. What? He's not just primordially floating there. Yeah, right. He's not ascending. <laughs> he never, he never got there. He, he never left there. He's just always been there. He's always he's, been there. This house was built around him. <laughs> <laughs> but we are gallows no longer. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So he's here. He's Hangs chilling. Are now illegal. Just know that if you guys have any questions for Steven, you can send them to me, and then I'll go ahead and pass them on to Steven. So. Yeah. Now, What's your favorite color, Steven? It's blue. Good. Dang it. I was, gonna, I was hoping it was going to be silence. <laughs> I was going to say, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, what do you think about the current state of the economy? Say, yeah, dude, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Ditto, buddy. What'd you do last Tuesday? Mm. Me too. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> mood AM. Mood. All right. So, <laughs> mood AM. So for this week, we, we, oh gosh, way to go, way to hit it. No. White, oh. One person makes one grammatical error and the whole podcast makes fun. Yes. <laughs> it all just falls into That's disarray. <laughs> <laughs> speak english goodly <laughs> yes anyways we watched this is our first like series we watched and it was gundam 0080 war in the pocket i had to walk it in my pocket a little i got a way to walk it in my pocket <laughs> for that one uh for those of you who haven't seen it which i mean if we're watching season one i'm guessing you haven't seen it but still for those of you who haven't seen it there's go watch it there's yeah you could watch it but every time at like the halfway point of the episode it does its little like you know little stingers little, 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 yeah little eye catch swipe thing it's supposed to come from commercial breaks but we're watching them we're binging them so there's no commercial break yeah and there it's like a picture of him and it's war in the pocket so it's like his back pocket full of like a gun and there's like a rocket in there and as soon as i saw it i was like oh he's got a rocket and we got a little walk in his pocket. <laughs> and from episode one so yeah, that was six episodes it. of me making walk it in my pocket jokes yeah uh, they're all paying off now yeah i feel great it's a swiss army knife a wallet and then a full-on rocket and a walk in his and pocket a walk in his little pocket <clears throat> dr seuss would be proud yes proud exactly for the front lines this boy yes yeah full-on bazooka I, I was i in I the pants hit the left and the right leg <laughs> that sounded wrong phone, i'm sorry wallet, <laughs> check that, that back pocket phone wallet, <laughs> please. got it please cut that yeah. out wait what did you just say no, what? Nothing, just, nothing, i was thinking like phone about wallet it. keys and walk it is what i'm trying to say it. you're right you're right phone wallet keys and walk it and you guys are over here talking kind of trying to edit things out no 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 being good messy people over here hey man Phone, wallet, keys, yourself. walk it. And yeah. Screen. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, right. Feel the, feel the burn, as yeah. I say, for, oh, for good old the character named Bernie. Oh, yeah. Rip Bernie. Oh, my God. Damn, <laughs> Burger. Oh, gosh. So, <sighs> this, for anyone who knows, is unlike most Gundam series in the sense that it takes place from, per, from the perspective of a child. Yes. Living and, in a neutral colony. <laughs> yes. Well, the one year war is just happening around yeah. and about. Hmm. That's, it's easily my favorite aspect of the show yes Besides, i was gonna like, say the way the mobile suits are animated and the action especially yeah. but uh, i like how the show is so like chill and like haha kids yay yeah and yeah. then randomly then all of a sudden yeah, oh, no, man. then randomly when the violence happens you realize this is still supposed to be an adult anime because there's yeah. just people like being like crunched and bones are snapping and blood yeah, just yeah. spewing everywhere and i was like haha you know i forget this could be a cartoon and then boom it hits me with that ah this is for grown-ups watch this guy bleed yeah. out yeah. i'm like oof i think it's right. still like made for and like children is, for to a degree i think to a degree I don't think any I don't, I, kids should watch this show. I don't, no, I, I don't mean, think so. I think it's too messed up. I think there's just... But well, the thing is, it, it this is coming that, from the guy who thinks that Avatar... Feel. Yeah. Avatar would be... Uh, the Last Airbender would be a million times better if they could just let him, like, snip people's neck. And, like, <laughs> oh, definitely. Because I'm just saying, like, <laughs> honestly, cool as cool as it is, I'm just saying, it'd be a lot cooler if people were just freaking... Yes, get shot up. And, and just, like... Universe. Yeah, and they, like, they almost never do. I wanted to see Sokka run someone through with a blade, and guess what he didn't do? Because it's a kid's show. No one yeah. died. And that's all I'm saying is like... Oh, whoops, that Sokka bladed like, boomerang bounced off that dude's uh, head. He just, just clinked his clock real quick. He's, he's yeah. sleeping. That's what it is. No, no, no he's dead. He's <laughs> dead. Was, he's just, just going to take a little nap. What was the thing you said? What was it I said? I think I said it. You were like... Uh, no, no, no. He's just, he's like holding a, holding a bat or uh, holding some kind of blunt object. He's like, no, no, no. He's just knocked out. And I was like, he's bleeding an awful lot for being knocked out. Yeah. Uh, he, was like, he's just not, he was like, did you kill him? And he was like, no, I knocked him out. And I was like, he, that dude didn't even check up holes. He said, no, nah, he just knocked out. And I like, looked at him like, no, nah, he's totally yeah, dead. Like, I don't fucking know, Alfred. I just smashed this dude's gray right. matter across the fucking table. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Like, we need the supplies. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like I just hit this guy in the head to try and knock. Him. Oh no, he's just knocked out. And it looks, I'm like, oh no, I totally. Just <laughs> he's out. fine, Al. I killed, I killed the absolute hell out of that guy. <laughs> like, it's like, oh man, that's funny. Oh, by the way, the main characters, the main kid character's name is uh, Alfred Izaruha. Yeah, I just called him. I called him Alfred. backwards mixture of. That's like someone from here. Like America naming their kid fucking Goku. Yeah. <laughs> Goku, Goku Smith. Goku Johnson. <laughs> yeah. They call me Goku Johnson. Goku Johnson. I, even yeah, though the it's funny easy thing is, Alfred, I still kept calling him Albert. 
Now, I'm not going to name any names, but I do know someone who actually named their kid Kenji Goku. No way. Yeah. Kenji? Yes. Wow. Well, I mean, I'm going to be asking more questions off air. Oh, no, that's saying. that's as far as my knowledge goes. Uh, that's that's all I know. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty weak sauce. So. Yeah. Well, Aha, fun fact. Anyways, <laughs> the, the one thing I was going to say is because of what's happening in, like, the one-year war, mm-hmm. isn't this happening towards the end of it? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Because there's like a, obviously the one year war is in, if anybody knows the Gundam universe is like a big deal. Um, as Dylan was saying that it takes place in this like neutral colony mm-hmm. and it takes the the perspective of like a child, which is like kind of. Just your average kid growing but, up, going to school. Yeah. But it also, it, it kind of breaks the mold from most like Gundam shows mm-hmm. from like, um, not only the perspective but it's also like the tone. Yeah. I am not a connoisseur of all the Gundam shows like our resident expert Dylan here. Um, but you know the funny thing is as much as I fucking love the series, I'm still not confident enough to call myself an expert. Really? Yeah. Well, I well you're an expert amongst us. So just know that like in <laughs> our comparison. In my comparison you're a genius here. <laughs> I I have seen a handful of series because of Dylan mm-hmm. uh, of uh, Gundam and You can't escape. And no, I'm definitely not. And I haven't tried. <laughs> <laughs> But it definitely uh, – it has a different feel about it. And it te- by the music, by the the art style, mm-hmm. the, like the like animation, everything looks, everything looks cute. Everything looks soft for the most part. And then, right. of course, it hits you with those like, yeah, this is still – Oh, yeah. It's still rough. Mm-hmm. But – With most Gundam shows, you see preteens and or teenagers yes. get, uh, either shoved into or they fall into the cockpit of yes. said Gundam. And like of whoopsie, the series and it's like, oh well, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go do a war now. I guess I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go, 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 go kill somebody. Gotta gotta, gotta go. No, no, he's just knocked out. <laughs> gotta gotta gun him. <laughs> gotta go come to grips with the freaking human condition and yeah. how it applies to conflict. Yeah, and that is most yeah. Gundam shows, but this one yeah. definitely takes a whole different approach <laughs> yeah. to that. <laughs> this one shoves all that shit onto a, a young boy. Yes. But not in the same aspect now of... he's like, going to grow up jaded. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> never going to eat a hamburger again. He might have PTSD. He, you know, yes. he definitely has PTSD and he's yeah. never going to eat a hamburger again. That's if there is sure. ever... Oh, woof. That, that, that'll be explained. <clears throat> yes, well, we will get on to that. Don't you worry. Um, again, the real reason why I had offered to watch this series in particular is because it's a Christmas Gundam. Mm-hmm. Not only because, like... Uh, uh-huh. Now, now the, that isn't to say that this show is directly affiliated with Christmas. Christmas just happens during the show. Yes. The last three episodes. Like like many would say, Die Hard or possibly I a think, Harry no, Potter I, I'm going to be honest. That this is more on the Harry Potter spectrum. Really? Die, Die Hard is a straight-up Christmas movie. But like, <laughs> Really? This oh, is more on the Harry... Uh, no, look, listen, just listen. I'm just saying, Die Hard's like a straight-up Christmas movie because, again, the whole basis of the movie is around Christmas. Really? Okay, so it, it's... This one... Okay, I'm but, well, right, let, me, right. let me just say... Right, let me right, say right, right. The first... I hear you. So, greater than half of the show, four episodes, Christmas is like not even really going on. Then it, now, when it happens, it's still important. Three, I think three episodes. It's yeah. Still, it's like... Half, half of the series, at least, is Christmas affiliated. Yeah. And it also no, is I'm, like... The I, world I is. What you mean? Like if the yeah. whole show. I say, the reason why, why Die Christmas Hard's a like Christmas movie is because the whole movie is based around a Christmas party and is Christmas constantly. Right. right? Okay, okay. So it's like Die Hard's a Christmas movie. Okay. This yeah. is more on the Harry Potter spectrum where it's like you see Christmas so much that it makes this a Christmas spirit show. <laughs> okay. That's what. Well, that's what right. It's that's up there right. with the Harry Potter. Like it's like eh, is Harry Potter a Christmas movie? No. Do I only watch it at Christmas time because it's Christmassy? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. We'll okay. I guess you're right. Well, this will be on the same spectrum as that, and I'm okay with it because you get through I think episode three or four. Like Ethan was saying, of this six and every um, other song in this, the show is now Jingle Bells, Jingle of, Bells. Of this six episode OVA, three or four of them are not Christmas related, but the other ones, I think it's, I think it's three because I think yeah. it's halfway. Once you get halfway through it, all of a sudden Christmas time happens, and yeah. it's like the seasons change. There's your and dramatic it, Gundam song, and yes. boom, <laughs> next song is Jingle Bells, yeah. boom, Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> yes, like, but then not only that, it's also like the whole premise of the show is like. The day on, after, or on Christmas, on Christmas day, night, the nukes will come. Nukes will come. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Santa's going to deliver the nukes. Yeah, yeah, to this, yeah. To this pacifist colony. <laughs> right. All I want for Christmas is gun. Gundam. No, it's, just, it's just gun. It's so, just a gun. I, I want a gun. To I want the nine million synopsis, cars. the story starts with an attack on a Federation base, I believe somewhere in Antarctica? Yeah. Where a bunch of high gogs 
come out of a freaking Zeon submarine. Oh yeah, I fucking love the high. That was so cool. Those are that's like one of my favorite mobile suit designs. Yeah. in the whole show, that is a a really iconic first scene too. Yeah, I think I've seen that in different animations, mm-hmm. haven't I? Or have they... I, I've shown you, I've, I've shown it to you before. Like yes, before we even watched the show. Right? Yeah. Which is a, a bad habit. Of <laughs> I was about to say the first fight. I was like, I've seen some of these fights in yeah. the show. I've never seen the show. I just get really excited. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> but uh, there's also a Zagok E in there too, which yeah. is the best version of the Zagok. You can't change my mind. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. But, uh, they're trying to find this experimental mobile suit, perhaps a, a Gandun. Possibly. Undoubtedly. He, he did it, boys. He said Gandu. I've been trying to get him to say that for years. Shut up. Uh, yeah, anyway, dude. so it ends up getting away. <laughs> and yes. The special ops team, the Cyclops team, yeah. loses one of their men, uh, members, Andy. Yeah. Rest dies in the race. freaking. I want to say, like, Lieutenant? Possibly. Maybe. Captain. Uh, yeah, Captain. Uh, so, oh, Captain. <laughs> Captain. Uh, Rest in peace. The rocket gets away, ends up on this neutral yeah. colony in a secret underground Federation base where they're continuing its development. Unbeknownst to the people living on the neutral yes, colony. Illegally. Yes, exactly. It's a neutral colony. Against right. against all the policies of this colony. Of, is neutral. Yes. But so, yet the Earth Federation is making the Gundam. They don't give two dams. Alex. As it's known. Oh yes. The goal in T one. Yes. Um nice little fun fact about that one. Uh, Chris, I'm, I'm sure I mentioned it. She was just the test pilot for it. Yeah. It was originally going to go over to Amaro. Really? Mm-hmm, wow. White base. What a nice little uh, tidbit. History. Yeah. Of course, that doesn't happen. Of course, obviously. But. <laughs> well, tri- I was, <laughs> I was trying to think of the word trivia. I was, I was trying to I was like, what? trivia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like the, the like moral dilemma yeah. of some of it. Like it, there's like a, you have this kid on a neutral colony that, like, a lot of people there, like, the Earth Federation kind of, sort of, they're, like, inhabiting there. Mm-hmm. But then they have the Zakus, or, oh, I guess, Zeon. the Zeon, sorry. Yeah. The Zeon are, like, quote-unquote, the bad guys, as you would imagine it. Right. But they're not yeah. really bad. But anyways, so regardless. Oh, no, at this point in time, they're full-on yes, They're full-on bad guys. Full on bad guys. They, but, they got some good people in there, but woof. Woof. But anyways, so they're, like, that's like the whole the the boy boy al boy oh, is like trying to befriend this like uh zeon guy that somehow sneaks in here and like man it gets it gets messy real quick with uh, how like it should be noted al yeah being a stupid kid of course doesn't really uh i, I mean he gets he, in over he tra- so fast yes yeah he he trades confidential information for a for, 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 a, for a patch, uh, yeah, for, for a, a patch, yeah, insignia that exactly. Put on his shirt or some shit. Yeah, um, he's a child. Well, let's just be, you know, yeah. be that in mind. <laughs> but well, the, he, doesn't trade, start, he doesn't know it's confidential information. He's like, he trades his camera for the patch, and he's like, I don't need my camera. It's fine. I want this cool patch. This patch is one of a kind. Yeah, right. So he trades his camera for it, and the guy's like, I just want the confidential information. So he takes the car out of it, and he's like, You can have your camera back, and he's like, Wow, I get the patch and the camera. Wow, <laughs> and he just like runs away because well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so, it's like eight year old body. Yeah, straight up, he's he's nine years now. Yeah, I'm sure like a lot of the young kids, they uh, gravitate to the idea of war as being like this cool action packed activity. Oh yeah, this dude watches people get killed. Right. Yeah. So there is a at the end of the movie, dude. The end of the movie I thought was really funny. They were like, oh, don't worry, don't cry, man. Don't worry, there's going to be another war. We're going to see more about the Gandooms and all that. The and this dude's like, start looking for live ammo. Yeah, and, and they're all like, no, d-. my favorite line is, don't worry, man, there's going to be another war. There's always <laughs> oh, a war. That's and, the it, worst. Yeah, and, and this kid's over here like, but my friend's dead. Yeah. And everyone's like, yeah, there's going to be more death. Don't worry, there's no end to this. War never changes. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no. That was so deep. <laughs> so. With the whole exchange of the camera and the patch, Alfred meets a Zaku 2 pilot named Bernie. Bernie. Yes. I can't remember his last name. We'll, we'll just say Bernie Hamburger. Oh, no. Bernie Burger. Oh, ha- ham Bernie. Oh, no, I, I like no. Bernie Burger better. So, after Bernie he meets Ham Bernie, uh, uh, Ham Bernie. <laughs> a, a cute little friendship blooms yes. between the two. Yeah, there's a whole lot of uh, misadventure that that ensues between like the meetup of them and right. of course the inevitable. Because at this point, the Cyclops team has infiltrated the colony and yes. also destroying the Gundam. Yeah. Then there's a couple of like uh, 
um, hijinks that ensues. <laughs> I, I, would, I would say. Yeah. Um, basically, all of Cyclops' team gets killed off at a certain oh. point in yeah, one they, uh, fell swoop. Now, this is the real kicker. Yeah. <laughs> they snuck onto the station with a cargo ship. Yeah. Carrying four trucks worth of containers. Yeah. Full of mobile suit parts. Of the Zaku parts. Now, this mobile suit in particular yeah. was made specifically for this purpose, like infiltration, really? like gorilla hit and run type stuff. Like you get in, fuck shit up, and get out. Yeah. It is the, I can't remember the model number, but it's the Kopfer. Yeah. And it is one I, of my favorite looking mobile I've suits. never seen a, like a, I've obviously seen Zaku mm-hmm. in the classic Zaku green. Right. Our one and only mm-hmm. Char in red. Oh, of course. But I've never seen a blue Zaku which is why I think it's so interesting. At least I haven't in oh, this aspect like this. That's another thing. You, you I hate that now. <laughs> I haven't, me and Ian haven't quite, well, well no, because I, I, I started, you, we watched The Origin together, and that was, yeah. I, I'd count that as like the de facto starting point. Yeah. So there were blue mobile suits. Yes, yeah. You yeah. haven't seen a goof yet, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> Big old, big old goofball. Yeah, it, it is pretty much just like a. It, it may also don't forget my it, favorite though is Huangu. Huangu. Yes. Oh my god, I love it. You mean like the Gandu. You mean like the beef? <clears throat> Huangu beef. <laughs> I think it's yeah, Huangu yeah, beef. It's, it's, yeah, no Huangu beef. Yeah, Huangu beef. I need some Huangu beef. Yeah, I need. I, I need some Huangu. I'd make I a. I mean, I'd make a Huangu beef sandwich from that <laughs> Gandu. Elephant <laughs> gun. Anyways, I I I think it's for me. I haven't seen a Zaku in like that shade of blue it just right. it's so iconic there's like yeah. i haven't seen one that's like that one at least and i'm always like man that's so cool looking oh yeah it's but nice, anyways nice deep cobalt yeah i like it um and it kicks ass for a good while too like it yeah the, the federation ship is stationed there it's called the gray phantom yeah and they send out an entire mobile suit team to try and take this fucker out of and course. he kills all of them yeah <laughs> Until Alex shows up and then right. just full on wrist rocket. Ga, 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 ga. Oh yeah, and just now, tears them up. Dude, that dude. Face, oh my <laughs> God. I'm just this is skipping a little bit, but yeah. watching her just shoot the Santas was so oh funny. so great, <laughs> it was so funny. What She's a like, diversion though. Oh, That's such no, a great. Santa. And then he just comes in and just takes her arm off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. happy holiday. Right? Sa- he's checking it twice. <laughs> just gets tore up. You better watch out. You better watch out. <laughs> I checked it twice. And then Frosty it. the Snowman gets clapped also. Yeah, yeah Frosty is Rip Frosty. <laughs> yeah, rip Frosty. Yeah. Yeah. Never had it, never stood a chance. Gone but not forgotten. <laughs> now, yeah. another cool Frosty thing. the pile of hamburger, sorry. That was <laughs> introduced with the Alex was Chobum armor. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like extra plating oh, around. Yeah, now this motherfucker looked bulky yeah. when you see it for the first time. Yeah. Now, Reason being, it's all just extra armor plate and yeah. other thing. I'm sure it would... Well, actually, no, it's, mobility isn't bad. Yeah. At least thruster-wise, but it takes, like, two shots from a shotgun. Yeah. As well as, I think... Yeah, and it, he unloads an entire, like, strip oh, of yeah, lines. Oh, yeah, yeah. just, like... And oh, he wraps around the entire suit. He just opens, like, a crate, and then just, like, has a whole... St- like a oh, yeah, sleeve of armor just like falls off. Yeah. And then like <gasps> oh my god. And Nunny. Then, and Nunny. then the Alex pulls a little sneaky on you. It was like, ah, oh, that wasn't even my final form. Right? Yeah. Hey, guess what I have on my wrists now yeah, that yeah. you took the armor off. Tri barrel <laughs> rotary cannon. So of course the Misha, the pilot of the camp for seeing this, is like, oh shit. And he gets his beam saber out and makes a rush for the damn thing. Of course not before he's dying mowed down absolutely mowed down by these fucking wrist yes. cannons and I love like the little touch is like you can uh, like they don't show they don't show like the death all the time mm-hmm. it's only like sometimes they show like but then there are the scenes death. again where it's just like spraying blood out. yeah oh yeah but it's this is one like, of those oh no wow this is okay, one of those nice. scenes where like it's like happening, and you're yeah, like, as Dan. he's getting pelted, you, they give you a little inside shot of the cockpit. Where yeah, his flask is just like going nuts, shaking. Yeah, 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 and yeah. like getting like beat to hell and back. And it's like, yeah. man, you know, he's getting messed up. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, like like the next episode, whenever they show like the remains, it's oh, like yeah. they take his took seat. the entire seat out, <laughs> and it is riddled with bullet holes yeah. and blood. You're like, yeah. oof, damn, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, he did not make it. <laughs> he got messed up. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's like it's like it's little nods like that they don't 
that I think is interesting. That they, yeah. they show the violence, but like it's left to your imagination. Not all the time. Right. Only sometimes they show it. But it's my interesting. favorite character is probably that guy. I don't even know his name. Like he's a small. I think he's a pretty small character when it comes down to important characters. Because I don't really care. The kind of name. Russian guy. No, no, no. You, you guys, it's the guy who, whenever some captain guy is like, "I didn't authorize you to do that," he said. I never asked. Oh, and yeah. then shoots the guy in the neck. Oh, yeah. That guy's my favorite. <laughs> like, that was a gruesome scene. Basically, he's yeah. like, we're bringing the nukes in, and this captain guy who's in charge is like, I didn't I didn't give you orders to do that. And this dude says, I didn't ask you for orders. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm in charge here. And he was like, last I checked, all the stuff that we, all the, um, all what of is my it? All the operations are outside your Yeah, exactly. Like, we never signed that treaty or whatever, because they're like the colony that's outside of all right. of this. They're like, we never signed that treaty. And they were like, but you're still under my jurisdiction. And he just shoots him in the neck. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then gets ready to shoot the other guys, and someone else shoots the other guys. And he's like, I'm in charge now. A coup d'etat. Peak. Yeah. L- look at me. I'm the captain now. Yeah. Peak. I'm the captain now. Yeah. Moment. Favorite character in the show. That's no, like the, that's the bad side of Zeon right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he's a bad guy, but I uh-huh. love him. <laughs> he's the bad guy at that point. <laughs> no. He's a bad guy, but man, he's my favorite. <laughs> at that point, nukes are a contingency plan. Yes. In case the Cyclops fail their little Operation Rubicon. Yeah. yeah. And this is the point where, at this point, we know now, by Christmas... If we don't have the cool robot, we blow the entire place up. Oh, if yeah. the Gundam isn't apprehended, or the destroyed. nukes will come. Oh, yeah. If yeah. they can't steal it, they're going to blow it the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, this could be very bad for us. Let's just blow this whole place up. But I, I like how in every other Gundam show of some kind, that would be the main point. It's like the nukes go into the, the colony. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the apprehension of said nukes at that yeah. point. Because there is a point where Boy's dad comes home, Al's dad, yeah. comes back home. And he's like, it was crazy. I, a lot of stuff happened. Mm-hmm. And they got a ship. And they got all the nukes on it. Yeah. And it was like such a it's kind of peripheral thing. thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, look at and that. We've like, got the... Because, yeah. again, like, the main focus was the kid and what's going on there. And it's like, oh, the relationship between Bernie and Al. Yeah. This happens after they escape from that uh, fitting yes. base and make up a plan to destroy the Gundam before the nukes get here. Yeah, of course, yeah. Like, they repair the Zaku that was, like, crashed in the woods and yes. everything. We get a whole montage yeah. for that. Exactly. Montage. Yeah, with the, with the I'll Never Give Up Forever opening, song, yeah. which is great. I'll Never Give Up Forever. Such a, like, a boom. Oh, yeah. It just makes me sad now. Yeah. Because well, it's, <laughs> it's such, like, a light, it's a lighthearted song and it's so uplifting sounding, but it's, it's like... Dude, it's tied with a victory for having the most upbeat sounding yes. opening, but being the most fucking cool oh. shows in the series. Yes, it's rough. Like, and it's we'll, like, we'll get to victory one day. Like, holy fuck! I you told me about that, and I want oh, yeah. and I want to see it because mm-hmm. you told me like you want to talk about brutal. <laughs> yeah, Woof. Dude. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm ready for it. But yeah. anyways, um, so after his dad <laughs> just says that, oh hey. The nukes are no problem anymore. Yeah. Oh, hey, was like, there was nukes. Oh, what? Oh, the fuck? Ah! Yeah, my, <laughs> my friend. He, he gets off of the next stop of the tram they're riding and fucking books it yeah. to the forest trying to stop Bernie yeah. before the fight starts. So they because don't have Bernie, to kill each other. Bernie is now trying to cause a scene now to get his attention to lure the Gundam out to then kill the to Gundam. To the freaking party forest that they set up. Yeah, exactly. The party forest. I yes. love it. <laughs> Like we're having a Christmas party and yeah. you're invited, but Alex. only you. Yeah. And we're gonna shoot you. <laughs> Just some other little notes that I have too is I love the callbacks with like, like I said before, the hamburger thing. <laughs> we'll get to that later. We, have, that. we can we have to touch on that. Yeah, we do. Made it's very for the past mm-hmm. yes. twenty eight minutes. <laughs> yes. Nobody <laughs> understands. Me. But I like the police thing too. As at the end of the show, the kid runs to the police like he's supposed to do as a good citizen, mm-hmm. and is like, "We got this issue. Oh my God, there's nukes." And the kids like, and the, and the, I mean, sorry, the police officers like, I remember you from ha ha, you're lying. three you're episodes the one that's ago. And that wild fucking yeah. goose chase. Exactly. And so it's no like, one believes him. Now go he's home. Or I'll call your parents. Yeah, your parents. Of security. Yeah. I also like that he's he's a clever kid. He's not dumb. Right. And he proves that time and time again. Whenever he first is uh has the police go to the the oh uh, yeah they have facility. a facility. He has Al sees Bernie driving yeah. one of the trucks in from their little infiltration yeah. mission. Yeah. And he's like, oh, shit. Yeah. That's my buddy. Exactly. And then, of course, he almost gets them in <laughs> dire trouble and then, like, saves the day by being like, my brother. Oh, he yeah. starts crying about it. Yeah. He's, and he's like, Misha, psych. Misha's one of my like, uh, personal favorite scenes is probably whenever they're sitting in the car trying to steal that van. And he's like, wait, 
I had an idea. And the very next scene, he has just like a pipe wrench. And he's, like, <laughs> yeah. and he's just shouting at these uh, military officers. The, just, yeah, the Earth Federation officers. He's just yeah. shouting at them while hitting their, uh, like, <laughs> their Jeep. Get out of my bank! He's, he's hitting, like, making dents, like, destroying their, like, Hummer or whatever it is yeah. with this freaking pipe wrench. And he's like, get over here, you nerds! Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, get out like, of my colony, you they're like, hey. fetty bastard. Yeah, like, when it gets to them, he's like, yeah. they're like, hey, what are you doing? Stop. So they run up to him and he's like, get out of here! You got Get out of here! You got my colony. You guys killed my dad. And it just like starts like fake crying. He's like, it, it, you my dad. It, smash, it, my dad. It, it smashes the windshield. It annihilates the windshield, and it's like <laughs> now he's just like half hearted swinging like at the tire, and he's like, you killed my dad. And they're crying. So then they're like, oh man, what? Well, oh now we, what do like, we do? It was. It, was, it had to happen. It was. It was it's bad. These bad things are happening. It's, it's, it's all the Zeon's fault. Zeon. And they were like, just um, just don't go around doing crazy stuff like that again. You could get in trouble. And they're like all cool with it, and then you just see the truck drive away. <laughs> and so then they turn around. They're like, oh, the whole point where'd of the diversion. truck go? But now he's still holding the pipe. And I was like, I just want him to like, just he, they turn around like, no, the truck, and him just knock him out with the pipe. <laughs> he didn't. But I'm just saying, just knock him out and go sing Zion. Right, like, yeah. Or like <laughs> knock him out with the pipe and be like bamboozled again. <laughs> Scum. Or I should say air quotes on the knock him out. Probably killed him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyways, My favorite scene in the show though. Was to, so funny. to get back around to what he was talking about. Uh, they finally get the the Zaku unit up and running, and then of course he's causing a scene oh, to yeah. lure the Gundam out. Because of course at this point, I think all the mobile suits they had said that like they're not coming to help. Oh yeah, they're, just, they're pretty much the only suits exactly. on the colony at the moment. Yeah, so they're like, there's no extra help, so like you just gotta pilot the yeah mano Chris, mano Chris which again this is another like the 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 triangle of confusion is you have the little boy Al mm-hmm. Alfred you have the his his buddy like basically close friend called Chris that is like his neighbor is yeah. like a nice young lady or whatever mm-hmm. and then you have this new guy that we've talked we've been talking about yeah, Bernie 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 is basically for all intents and purposes the enemy of like the uh, of the Earth Federation right. his Buddy Chris, neighbor lady, who is also a very good friend of his, is part of the Earth Federation. Right. So she's piling the Gundam. So essentially, yeah. Bernie and Chris, Bernie and Chris like each other, but also they don't know that they're mortal enemies. Yes, exactly. It's essentially a Romeo and Juliet story, but they also don't know that they're Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. yeah. Until the end of the show, where she's like, "Hey, uh, you should say hey to Bernie for me. It's sad that we're going to see him." And she doesn't know that she's the one who killed him. <sighs> yeah. That's the most interesting part for me. Is like yeah. she kills him, doesn't know that it's him that she killed. And yeah. it's like, haha, I hope I get to see him again. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and, to, and to bring it all full circle, a whole fight sequence happens. And as we talked about before, oh, there's yeah, diversions. The party there's, yeah, there's the party for us. There's he's Christmas got, balloons that blow up. And they knew that they couldn't beat the robot. Mobile suit grenades hooked yes. up to trip wires yeah. between trees. Which didn't, I was pretty sad they didn't do anything. Like, like it blew up while they were dragging it. Didn't hurt either the yeah. They did a decent amount, for but sure. Like, uh, all that to say, both of them lost had, arms. He knew, yeah. he knew that, but they lost arms from different things. Still, they, he knew that he couldn't beat the Gundam in single combat because yeah. it was a better machine than him entirely. Right. So he's like, "I'll just make smoke. I'll make grenade traps, and then I'll distract it by setting off these blow up uh, <laughs> these Santas, parade, whatever. parade balloons." So they like was running out of ammunition doing that, and they had to get into combat. And he, technically, it kind of worked, but nah, he still died. Yeah, yeah, she takes out both of the floats first, of course. Yeah, as planned, as the distraction should be. Yeah, right. And then he fucking comes charging at her with the heat hawk. Takes yeah. off, uh, uh, he takes a few shots from the wrist-mounted uh, yeah. cannon. And then blam, mm-hmm. knocks that arm. Slices the can- that shit right off. Knocks the cannon off. She's yeah. basically got like half of a forearm left over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But anyways, fight ensues. Wonderful fight scene. It's basically the only... There's a couple other like fight sequences between Gundams, but like, yeah. no, it's like, like this the, is the third big one. Yeah, and this is like the culmination of it all. Mm-hmm. And it ends with like this very tense moment where uh it's one of those like close calls where like it could go both ways right but then you can you see it at the end there mm-hmm. like they both make a charge at each other with yeah. their melee weapons they've got yeah. nothing ranged left yeah uh bernie comes down with the axe slicing the gundam's head off yeah but but as you Chris... know if you watch these things the the actual pilot of yeah. the gundam is held in the center of the chest, yeah, in the chest. Not in the head. The chest. so it cuts its head off which is really badass but also the pilot's fine whereas yeah. she stabs it to the chest which absolutely murders yeah burning yeah not only does it probably stab him but it also causes the 
core to blow it up. Oh, yeah, it hits, the, it hits the backpack. They also go yeah. nuclear, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, boom! And then, and of course... Which, another pivotal part of the scene is the fact that at this point, our, our boy, uh, Alfred, who I keep calling Albert... Um, <laughs> yes, is boy, running through the film. Our boy, Albert, <laughs> is, uh, is just shouting, running through the explosive forest. The at party point, forest. At one point, he trips and tumbles down, like, maybe a 30-foot hill. It's yeah. pretty funny, honestly. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you damn kid. <laughs> and... He's like, no, stop! We can have the bombs! There's no reason to fight! So he's trying to stop the fight, but also he's just an eight-year-old shouting in the forest while two robots are blowing yes, each other up. It's not like anybody <laughs> can hear him, right. right? And so he's, like, coughing, breathing in this mustard gas fumes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, guys, stop! <clears throat> stop fighting. And he's like, of course. So then he watches the stab happen in the at- Oh, and yeah, so he, he gives front row seats to front, front row seats to watching his best friend die in an explosion. And not only that, watching... Like so, that's that's what we. He's we've the talked only about person who knows. The only yes. person in the show who knows yeah. who the pilots of both ships of both were. Yeah. So he knows that his friend killed his other friend, and even yeah. they don't know that. Yeah, Bernie got Romeo, and Chris almost got Juliet. Yeah. yeah, he's sitting there. He's, <laughs> Get Juliet. <laughs> so like, as as like the the Zaku unit, the one with Bernie is piloting, goes basically thermonuclear, or whatever, or Blam! Just, you know, explodes, whatever, yeah. blows up. It sends a shockwave back and it knocks something against a tree and he's like, oh dang, like kind of disoriented. Mm-hmm. And of course, this is where we we have been waiting for this moment right now. <laughs> this is the part that hits really hard. Yeah. You have the Earth Federation soldiers come up and it's like, how's the Gundam pilot? And they're like, oh, she's fine. She's just unconscious and injured. And they're like, what about the Zaku guy? And they're like, he's just a pile of hamburger. Nothing and, left. Nothing yeah. left. So and, and then, and then there's a guy the sitting camp- next to the on. kid there's, who's traumatized while they're yes, sitting. Yes, there is just a shot that goes to the to our kid Al, who's sitting there, legs sprawled out in anguish, and blank stare, mm-hmm. cold, and it's like, oh god, and it's like, woof, yeah. ouch, and then you get to see uh, Chris coming out of the gun unit. He's like, and then of course at that point it's the like everything comes together. It's like not only did Bernie just die, but Chris is the not pilot, me. not me. And you're like, oh god, yeah. it's so that was oh. that was a gut punch. Followed by a right cross. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and he's oh. never going to eat a hamburger again. No. no. He's never going to be the same way again. Mm-hmm. And of course, to make. To make, to make <laughs> yeah, exactly. To make matters worse, Chris has to go back to the, to Earth. She's being shipped back to Earth, so she's gone. Yeah. And his school got destroyed in the first fight with Alex and the. Kempfer. Kempfer. Mm-hmm. Um And then, of course, so it, everything's in ruin. And of course. And now the, he's just. The principal's like. <laughs> It's all over. The war's over, or whatever. Yeah. His and friends are like, "Don't worry, there's always more war." I still, this dude watched the front row. At one point, he watches. Seat. At one point, he watches a kid get dragged out yeah. of a house that's like dead, like dead and mangled and broken yeah. and bloody, getting dragged out of a building or whatever. And it was his first time realizing that war is bad. Yeah. So now he's got this whole like war never changes about him. He's only yeah. like eight years old, right? And all right. Of his friends are like, "Don't worry, there's always more war." And he's crying because all of his friends are dead in the yes. war. And he's, he's like, just, "I hope there isn't." It's just, it's like really interesting how this yeah. character grows up. He's just sitting here like just trying to cope with what even just recently his, happened. Even and his, everyone's like, "It's gonna be all right." And, they're, and we're all how, like, "How would you cope?" Right? With that? That's what I'm. Saying. Saying, we're all sitting here like you kids i appreciate i appreciate that you're trying it's to make him feel better a reason why you don't ever say it's going to be all right because you don't know what someone's there is about. nothing he, he used to be like you but he's not, not anymore <laughs> not anymore it's, that's why you never tell someone he's a big right, kid now. you just don't know <laughs> exactly you don't know so yeah at one point even his dad's like is our is our son talking less or did he just grow up ha 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 because this dude's traumatized for life yeah so yeah. he's seen a lot yeah. hey you were screaming in your sleep oh it's just a dream yeah a dream of my friend dying because it yeah. actually happened and i'm reliving it the person yeah. that he kind of looked up to and considered a brother at some mm-hmm. point it's like man yeah. he actually there's a point where like i think it's before or after the montage he's like i love you yeah he's like i it's you. after he uh comes back after that little squabble they had in the forest where yeah. Bernie was going to uh, just fucking run away. Yeah. After because he, he knew that the place the was going to blow up. Yeah. 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 He was like, there's no way, he, he knew that there was no way he could take the Gundam down, so he knew that the place was going to blow up. Dang. Right. It's just, then he it, set it all in trying to fight it, but then they also apprehended the nuke, so he never knew about that. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's just, it's like just an away. awful set of circumstances. Yes. And it's like, and it all feels like it's not uh, forced. Yeah. It all just kind of like, it just happens and you're like, dang, dude. It it's like, off. Oh, Fuck. Yeah, and he, you could tell like the relationship between the two felt real, and of course the little tape that he gives him after Bernie dies is oh, like yeah. <laughs> the finger guns. He's like, God. don't don't be mad at the pilot, don't be mad at anybody else or their or federation. Or of course, whatever. he's like, don't be mad at the pilot, just, not knowing the pilot is the girl he has a crush on. So yeah. now he's like, don't be mad at the pilot, and he's like, the pilot say hi to Chris for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> finger guns. Yeah, wink. Yeah, the person like, that killed you. 
Yeah, it's the biggest oof, oof in the song. Oh, man. You can tell we're so yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> It just it <laughs> hits different. Kids. Just turn on the loudspeaker. Anyways, so. Cries. Christmas Gundam, War in the Pocket. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's a Christmas Happy miracle. Holidays. It's a Christmas miracle. War ended. But you know now. what? There's nothing like the Christmas holidays without a little trauma. Am yeah. I right? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Bill's but character. There's someone out there that understands what I mean. There, there's, I see there's you someone out there. Who, yeah, there's someone who's like... <laughs> Alfred knows what you mean. I, yeah. Alfred knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alfred, this one's like, for you. Man, Alfred, like, here's every year. Here's to you, Alfred. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm out here like, I don't know, Christmas is not going to be trauma time for me. But Alfred, here's to you. Yeah. Anyways. Good luck. Tra- traumatic. Yeah, good luck ever enjoying a Christmas again. Next week is going to be Christmas, guys. Oh, yes. We got a week until Christmas. Do you know what next week is going to be? Because it's Christmas. Die Hard. Die Hard. (laughs) Yeah. The Christmas movie. The Christmas movie. It also might incorporate a little bit of me talking about Elf in there because I've never seen Elf and it's a cult classic and and I have people who tell me that they love the movie and I have to watch it with them. So I'm going to incorporate a little bit of why people think it's the best movie ever but the people who don't like it thoroughly hate it. I have not seen a middle ground someone being like, it's an alright movie. Other people are like, dude, Elf sucks. Or they're like, Elf's the greatest movie ever, it's so much fun. As the only two things I've heard. Yes. So next week, we're going to watch a little bit of Die Hard. We're going to talk about that. And I'm, a, a little bit of Die Hard. Of die. We're going to watch uh, we're gonna 33% of Die, die hard. hard. Yeah, just We're going to die, but like not too hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to mention Elf because Man. I'm probably, maybe, probably by then going to have watched Elf. Okay. Well, so, uh, right. until then... Um, I thank you guys for listening to this episode. This was a nice change of pace, I think, Dude, from our normal. I've been wanting to just fucking deep dive into a Gundam show for God knows how I long know. now. And I'm glad that robots. it was this one. Like, this holy was a, shit. Yes. Robots. Anyways, uh, we appreciate you guys listening. I uh, hope you guys stay tuned for all the cool episodes coming up because we're going to have some cool ones coming for the next few weeks. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, die hard, too. And uh, as, al- hard. as always... <laughs> That, that's the actual tagline. Hold die on. hard to die harder. I love it. You ready? <laughs> a message for you. Dude, I would vote for Cthulhu with 100% confidence. I would too. <laughs> I wish in the podcast without that. Anyways, <laughs> you guys know where to find us on Spotify, on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, all that stuff. And you if can, you don't, find it. Good the, luck. The aftermath. You can just search it. We, we should be there for you. Um, you can also look at our link tree, forward slash Ian Wolf find all of our social media links or all the links to get to our stuff online but until then shake the tree get some leaves help help i'm being repressed no bye-bye